Craig County Hazardous Waste and Recycling Program is excited to support this workshop series. It resonates with our mission, which is to provide solutions for hazardous waste, recycling, and waste reduction efforts in Hood River, Wasco, and Sherman counties. And this workshop series really exemplifies that in an artistic, innovative, and informative way. And we appreciate that and support it and spread the word. Hi, I'm Cynthia Caudill. I am a teaching artist and a master recycler, and today I'm going to teach you all about how to make recycled record bowls. And they look something like this when they're finished. But uh, we're going to start by looking at and talking about what is a record. So records used to be used uh, to play music. So records are made from a material called vinyl. Vinyl is a type of a plastic, and it does not um, biodegrade very quickly. So hundreds of years. So we don't use these anymore. So what happens? A lot of times they get thrown away. There's a couple things that can happen. We can reuse them. We can make them into something new. That's called recycling. Or they end up in a landfill. And so we don't want our things to end up in a landfill. So instead, I like to use those to create something new. So I'm going to show you how to make recycled record bowls today. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find an old record. Um, you might be able to find one uh, your mom or dad might have one, or you could find the one at a thrift store possibly, or we even have some here at the art center. Um, the first thing I do is I paint one side of it and I just spray paint it white, just so I can have a nice uh, background to work on, something that's not black. Sometimes when we use black, or when we paint on black, it's really hard to see our paint. So I like to start with white. Or you could even paint it a different color if you'd like. But I like to start with white as my background. Um, and then you need to gather your supplies. You'll need some sort of, I like to use a tray just so I don't get my paint all over. Um, you'll need some acrylic paint. You'll need a paintbrush and a pencil. If you wanna make the little dots, you'll use a skewer and I'll show you that later. That's a choice that you can make. You'll need some water and you'll need uh, just a rag to wipe off your paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to start by just creating a really simple design. And I think I'm just going to make a little sun. I'm going to do this with a pencil. And I'm going to cover all of that white paint. So I don't want to leave any white left. So I want to really create a design that covers the entire record. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to do something really simple. Okay. And then when I'm done, I'm hopefully going to be painting over all of those um, those lines so we won't even see that at the end. Okay, I just chose some colors, some nice warm colors here. Now, when we use acrylic paint, what's really important is we want a dry brush. Okay, so I'm going to start with some yellow in the center. I usually have the rule of if I'm painting something small, small details, small brush, big details or big spaces, big brush. I'm gonna paint the center here and you can see that you can kind of see your strokes in here a little bit, your paint strokes, and it's a little bit see-through that color is. So I want to do a number of layers, but I'm going to do one layer first, let it dry, and then add a couple more layers. Okay, I'm gonna use the same color, so I don't need to clean out my paintbrush yet. And all the way to the end, remember I want to fill in all of that white space. Don't want to leave any white left over. And I really want to try to stay right within those, those lines if I can. Okay. If I was ready for another color, what I want to do is I want to clean up my paintbrush. And the way I like to clean it out is I like to just paint the bottom of my water can and dry it off on my rag. So I really want a dry paintbrush. And now I'm going to go in with my next color. And keep going until I've done one layer over the entire record. So I mentioned how stuff can end up in a landfill. Do you know what a landfill is? 
basically it's where our garbage, where our stuff ends up and a landfill that's covered up every day. Uh, and then it just stays there. And I think what people had originally hoped is that in a landfill, our stuff would disintegrate or biodegrade. But that's not what happens all the time. Three things need to occur in order for um, things to biodegrade. They need to have air, they need to have, or oxygen. Water needs to be uh, available and also uh, bacteria. But what's happening is that those three things are not occurring in a landfill, so our stuff stays there for a long time. And so that means when we throw things away, they're just going to be there forever, or for a long, long time. So that's why it's nice to be able to reuse our materials uh, over and over again, so they don't have to end up in a landfill. Okay, so this is, I have done finished one layer of paint, but you can see with this one layer that we still really can see the streaks. It's not really nice solid paint. Here's a finished one and you can see the difference when we add two or three layers. You want your first layer to be dry before you add your second layer of paint. I'm going to show you a little pro tip of how to quickly um, dry this. Many of you might have a hair dryer at home. So when I use a hair dryer, you just don't want it to be really hot because um, some of your parents might know this, but if you have a record and if you left it out in the sun, it's going to start to warp. So we don't want to put really hot heat on this for a long period of time. So just a nice cool setting, but it helps dry it um, really quickly. And then you're going to want to go over the whole thing again and add a couple more layers of paint. Okay. When you're finished, your record might look something like this. So what I really like to do is I like to add these little dots in my painting. One of the reasons I like to do this is because um, if I would made some little mistakes or if I can still see some of my, uh, my pencil mark or I didn't get all of that white completely, it actually covers some of that up really nicely. What I like to do is I actually just get a skewer. You can use these for cooking or you can even use the end of your paintbrush if it's round. And what I do, oops, I forgot my white tape. Use a little bit of white here. As I use the wrong end of my skewer, I dip it in my paint, and then I'm just going to go right along my lines where those two colors meet. I'm going to add some dots, and it just, it really covers up any little mistakes I have. So I'm just going to dot, 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 grab some more paint. Dot, dot, dot grab some more paint. I'm going to do that all the way around. You'll notice if you're adding too many dots and you run out of paint that your circles aren't going to be circles anymore. I'll show you what I mean. Or do you see how little they got? That's why I like to only do two or three and then reload with more paint. And just, I'm going to do this all the way around where all of those colors meet. And then I like the effect it makes here. I think it looks nice. So today we were painting something pretty simple that looks like this, but you could end up with something even more complicated that looks something like this. My daughter actually made this one for me. So the next step is once you have your painting finished and completely dry, what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the oven. You will need a cookie sheet, You'll want to have a metal bowl, and the bowl should be about the same size as your record. And then we're going to just set the record right on top of the bowl, and we want to center it on the bowl so that when it gets warm, it's going to get nice and soft, and it's just going to slump right into your bowl. When it slumps, it's going to slump right into your bowl, and it's going to look something like this. Yeah. Okay, once your record is ready to go. You're going to turn on your oven to 225 degrees. Wait for it to warm up. And you'll want an, you'll want an oven mitt, just since you're, it's going to get a little bit warm. We're going to pop it in here for just about five to 10 minutes. And we just want it to get 
nice and soft. Okay. So just set your timer to about five minutes or so. You might notice a little bit of off gassing or a little bit of fumes. Um, so if you're concerned about that, I would just turn on a vent or turn on a fan. So I just, I'm pushing it in just to slump it to form the bowl. And it will naturally make these curves, but if you want to add a couple of curves, you can just add them yourself. Okay, now we have our record bowl. There we go. And we're good to go. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully it's still good enough soon. Here we are back in the studio, and this isn't the one that we melted today or slumped today, but I wanted to show you what it's going to look like when it comes out of the oven. So it will, it will look just like this. It only takes just a couple of moments for it to cool, and you can pull it right out of your metal bowl, and now you have your recycle, recycled record bowl. So this can be used now as a decoration if you'd like it, um, or you can use it to put uh, chips or um, fruit in there, or any of your little knickknacks, whatever you'd like. Just remember though, it does have a hole in the bottom, so you're not going to use this for any sort of liquid. When you finish your bowl, we'd love to see it. If you can bring it here to CCA and show us what you've done. One thing that's really nice about creating with recycled materials is they're usually really inexpensive or people are ready to get rid of these things and uh, now you have materials that you can create with. So you can remember, get records at a thrift store if you'd like, ask your mom and dad, grandma and grandpa if they have any old records they're ready to get rid of, or you can even come to CCA and you can um, get one that's already spray painted and ready to go for you to create with. Come on down to CCA to see the exhibit on recycled materials. Um, there's going to be many things made from different recycled materials and you can bring your recycled record bowl and you can have it on display too. We'd love to see it.